You might be wondering why I've performed this experiment. Because to study the reflex arc, reflex arc, when we touch the candle and we put a hand back, why this happened? Because certain action in response to something in environment is called as reflex arc. You might be wondering what I'm speaking. It means that when I touched the candle, I suddenly picked up my hand. Why it happened? It happened because the our receptors in the skin responded and the signals are sent from our body to the brain. And again, the signals are sent back from the brain to our body in response to the change in the environment. All this function was performed by the vital organ of our body known as brain. Now let's understand it with the help of the game. Now I will tell you to play the game. I'll write few words on the board. Firstly you have to read and tell me what is written on the board. Okay. Okay, pause. Okay, now tell me what's written on the board. Don't worry, you might be getting confused. Don't get confused because our left brain works differently from the right brain. The left brain helps to detect the writing and the right brain helps to detect the color. Fine, now let's see it with the help of the diagram. Don't laugh by seeing this diagram. This, the part in pink color is frontal lobe, front, okay, the frontal lobe. The part in blue is periantal lobe, okay, periantal lobe. And then this part is occipital lobe, okay. And the last is, this part is temporal lobe. The scientists have divided the brain into four parts into different lobes. Okay. The frontal lobes helps in thinking the cognitive abilities of human and the ideas originate from frontal part and parental part receives all the senses from the sense organs. And the occipital part helps in the vision. That's why I told you the colors are detected with the help of occipital lobe through the vision and the last is temporal lobe it helps to detect the writings drawings okay all the all the writings are helped with the temporal lobe okay now the brain is very complicated and scientists have again divided into three parts and for studying the three parts of the brain let's see the top view of the brain the top view of the brain looks like the walnut when we cut the walnut into the half piece it cuts into two parts and it's divided from between it is similar as the hemispheres of the brain okay now it is similar to the hemisphere of the brain and the cut section is similar to the brain. Cut section of what? The walnut. Fine. Now let's see the cut section. Human brain consists of three parts. Number one is four brain. Fine. Number one is four brain. This part, the whole part is four brain. Fine. It is the larger brain. Okay. The next is middle brain. It is the smallest part. Mid brain. And the last is hind brain. Okay. This part, this below part is hind brain. And this is the brain stem which is connected with the spinal cord together the brain and the spinal cord forms the central nervous system okay now let's see the function of different parts the forebrain helps in thinking cognitive ability 
okay is performed with the help of forebrain you might be seeing this image you are seeing this image because of this forebrain only fine it helps in sensing the parts okay sensing the organs so sensing thinking you might be hearing my voice also because of this forebrain only fine okay other function which is performed by this forebrain is your hunger when you feel hungry because of this brain the you feel sleepy because of this forebrain you feel alertness because of this forebrain so major voluntary functions voluntary functions are performed with the help of four brains fine and the hind brain okay and mid brain performs the involuntary functions hind brain and mid brain performs the involuntary functions which is not controlled by the brain it is automatic fine like breathing respiration cardiac okay all this heartbeat is performed with the mid brain and the hind brain now let's further study the hind brain hind brain is connected with the brain stem fine hind brain consists of pons pons in latin means the bridge bridge between the hind brain and the mid brain fine bridge between the hind brain and the mid brain is known as the pons fine and it is connected with the medulla obligata this performs the voluntary activities or the automatic functions like again the respiration the heart beat all the important functions are performed in the medulla obligata daily life okay daily life functions are performed with the medulla obligata and this structure this large structure you are seeing in hind brain it is posterior and is connected to the brain stem it is known as the cerebellum cerebellum in latin means the mini brain the small brain it looks like also the small brain okay cerebellum plays the major function what it performs the balance fine balance coordination and motor learning motor learning fine the cerebellum plays the three parts balance coordination and motor learning okay if a person is intoxicated with the alcohol he can drive properly don't drink and drive fine why it is written because a cerebellum is affected by the alcohol and it is not perform its function cerebellum will not perform its function well and person can be prone to accidents or can hurt himself fine a balance cannot also be maintained with the alcohol person all because the cerebellum is affected fine the brain is covered with the cranium okay cranium fine how this can be imagined as the empty box okay it is so brain is placed in the empty box it is covered with the cranium this blue okay these are the meninges what are these these are the meninges these also protect the brain there is also the fluid present inside it it is known as the cerebellum fluid fine this is all about the brain now you can see that the brain can perform all its function but in starting we have studied the reflex arc 
how the signals are sent from the body to the brain it is sent with the help of the important unit of the brain or nervous system known as the neurons neurons are the unit of the nervous system now let's study the neurons with the help of the another diagram this neuron neuron is fundamental unit of brain okay the signals are sent to the body to the brain with the help of this neurons okay it is very small in size approx 0.001 mm okay fine it is 100 billions in number it looks like a tree you finding it like a tree right fine it performs the dendrite is an input and axon is action potential let's understand it the input the signals are sent through dendrites inside it which is received with the axon axon is the action potential means it produces the neurotransmitters to join the another dendrites okay with the help of synapses it performs the i'll repeat again it performs its function like it produces the neurotransmitters which help to join to another neuron okay and these nerve endings join to the dendrites fine okay this is all about the neuron if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe my channel science olic thank you